Czechia. We're gonna be taste testing some traditional Czech food. Wow, good choice. We ended up ordering a beef goulash with dumplings. Then we got another dish that was a beef sirloin and like a creamy sauce and some cranberries on top. Whoa. We've got a spicy sausage, we've got a different type of gnocchi, we've got a different potato and ham, chicken thigh as well. Country number two! For Noah, huh? and we're so excited. I've also never felt more like a mom right now. We've whipped out the double stroller. This is baby Noah's first time in Czechia. We're super excited to be here. Also, my sister's here and this is her first time. I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> we're gonna be exploring the Easter markets, but mainly we're gonna be taste testing some traditional Czech food. So we cannot wait to see what's in store for us. Let's go. Hey, let's look at her. What is it? A big Easter egg? It feels so good to be back traveling. And back in Prague too, last year in May was the marathon. That was 11 months ago actually, like this weekend, 11 months ago. And it's absolutely crazy because the weather was like 65 to 70 degrees. Today it's like maybe 40 and cold, but it feels really good to be back. We loved taking things really slow when Noah was born and even before that we thought she was going to come early so we really stopped traveling like almost two months before she was due and it was a really nice break but man it feels so good to be back at it, back on the road and traveling and doing it as a family of four. Those dumplings look amazing. We're definitely gonna come back and explore this market more, but we're hungry, so we're gonna go and get some traditional Czech food. We came to this spot for the recommendation of The Honest Guide. They're a YouTube channel that covers everything Prague. We've heard that their recommendations are top notch, so we're really excited to be here. This place is quite hidden. You have to like make this turn that doesn't really look like a turn, and then go down an alleyway, and for us there was no one there, and it's really busy today, so we were kind of like, are we going the right way? We were. We made it here and it's quite popular. So that's fun and always a good sign. The food here is traditional Czech food. We ended up ordering a beef goulash with dumplings. Then we got another dish that was a beef sirloin and like a creamy sauce, also with dumplings and some cranberries on top. Tanner got a garlic soup that was the daily soup option and Willa wanted some french fries. We only ordered these dishes because we know that there's a lot of food outside at the market. This dish is very different from anything I've seen, but I'm really excited. My sister is feeling the opposite. She's like, there's cream on the top of this. So it is unique. Oh, the meat is super tender. Gotta get the cream. Good serving of cranberries. Whoa! I think it's really good. The cream is honestly quite subtle. The gravy is where most of the flavor is coming from. The cranberries add a really sweet touch to it and then you get the savory through the beef. I like the flavor. I just taste beef. It's like a 
cool texture, huh? Yeah. It's kind of like bread, but not. This is the soup of the day, garlic soup. It has a nice big clove of garlic in here. Probably several of them. Meat, looks like shredded cheese, onions, and little pieces of potato. So it smells great. Honestly, it's a really good soup. It's like very brothy, but the flavors are very savory. And it's a quite powerful garlic taste. My breath is going to reek of garlic after this, but it's very nice. Overall, I would have to say that we were surprised by the different flavors that they had here. Still really fun. The beef sirloin with the cranberries and the whipped cream, Marissa liked quite a bit. And I enjoyed the garlic soup, although it was really garlicky. So it's a good thing it wasn't much more than the size of the bowl that it was. If we were to ever to come here again, I think I would get the pork knuckle. Someone next to us got that and it looked absolutely delicious. But still, a really fun way to start out our Czech traditional food experience. What's my favorite color? My favorite color is yellow. What's your favorite color? Oh, you got to keep going. <laughs> well, despite being extremely cold and windy today, it's just above freezing. There's quite a few people here and a lot of food stands within the market. It's really fun to see everyone getting out. One thing we have noticed within here in the market is that there are like five or six different booths that are selling the chimney cakes. They are really fun to try and we got one last time that we were here in Prague. <laughs> But we found out that they're actually not really a traditional food to eat here. They are more of a touristy item that are sold. Still, they're really fun, but it's like, seriously, one right here, one right there, one behind me, one was just over there, and everyone seems to be trying them. Just like I said, I went back to get a hot filled dumpling, and they had multiple sweet options and then savory options. Of course, if you know me, I went for the sweet one. I almost got pistachio, but I ended up switching and going with chocolate. So we're gonna give it a try. They kind of look like a big donut hole, except stuffed, which isn't surprising, but wow! It looks really nice inside. I'm guessing there's like a mixture of white and milk chocolate inside. And then you can see the dough on the outside, and it looks like sugar granules on top of like a brown chocolate crumb. We'll see. This is kind of a big bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yum. Better than I expected. That is like pure chocolate inside, just like melted and warm. It's a good chocolate. Maybe like a milk a chocolate candy bar in there. Good choice. I really, really like it because Marissa said like a donut, so I was expecting kind of like that donut flavor texture, but it's a lot more dense than donuts, which I really like. Oh my goodness! <laughs> This is how you know when the clock is about to go off because people flock here to see. But we have to give everyone credit. We want to see it too. What song is that about? Easter. Is it in Deutsch? Yeah, it's Deutsch.
It is day two here in Prague. We're gonna be hitting up another Easter market. That's where we're on our way to right now. We parked right next to the opera building, so a different area than the other one. However, this is still in zone one, I believe, in the downtown area of Prague. For now, we're gonna go and check out the market and see what we find. This is a relatively newer area that we haven't been to. We have walked through this area, but we haven't really spent much time looking around at the museum, looking at other sculptures and the different buildings that are here. Prague is quite a big city, so there's a lot to see and explore even as we were driving through the tunnels. I think we spent a good three to five kilometers driving underneath the tunnels, which was really impressive for a city. So we've come across some really delicious looking plates along the stands here and we come across these that they say it's a gnocchi, which it does look more like a spätzle noodle or like an egg noodle that we've seen in a lot of German Christmas markets. I'm assuming that that's what they're trying to say with gnocchi, but it looks and smells delicious, lots of good spices, cheese, cut up pieces of meat, and we're right between two food stands so the aroma is like really making me salivate. Mm. What did you get? <laughs> She's so happy about it. Out of everything that was available, she wanted a piece of bread, but we got some delicious foods. We've got a spicy sausage, we've got a different type of gnocchi, ham, onion, sauerkraut maybe, cabbage, and then we've got a different potato and ham, looks like pepper and other spices in there and then a chicken thigh as well. There was a lot of different delicious smelling foods. These are what we're gonna try and I'm so hungry so let's get into it. And one thing we have to say is these definitely weren't exactly the cheapest. So just between the gnocchi and then the potato dish, those two alone came to 17 euros. So we were quite surprised by it. The price is determined by weight, which we've heard is kind of a scam here in Prague. Anyways, if you get like the ham and bread, that's how they do it by weight and it becomes quite costly. So be aware of that. Sausage. Juicy. You're right. Very juicy. Lots of good flavor. Nice and salty. Holy. Juicy. Kind of chewy, huh? The outer layer is like crunchy. Yeah. Was that like normal? You have to bite into it. Yeah. That's normal, yeah, that I would good. say. The outer layer was pretty good. I like that. Next, we have some cut up ham with this potato one and a uh, white sauce. It's nice. Good black pepper in there, nice potato, well cooked. Nothing crazy, but it's still like a good hearty food on a cold day. That's a good texture, it's a creamy sauce on the outside. There's not like a ton of flavor besides that pepper from what I can taste right now. All right, I just bit into this chicken thigh, very juicy. That skin is just so nice, really great flavor. I have no idea if they put anything on this, but man, this is by far the best thing that we got and I'm so glad I got it. Okay, I'm going in. That is really nice. It's pretty pepper. You can tell it has like the smoked flavor. It's really, really good. This one I had one bite and was very, very surprised at the flavor. So I'm gonna go in again, make sure I'm correct before I tell you. Mm -hmm. Pickles, you guys, I'm getting a pickle flavor. I don't know if it's from like the cabbage that's maybe more of a sauerkraut, so it's been pickled. I'm guessing that's what it is, but it's quite strong. Tanner agrees with me. My sister's like, no, I don't taste it, but I'm telling you, there is a pickle flavor. It's crazy, but it's really good. I do not taste it. <laughs> but she smells it. I can it. smell it. <laughs> yeah, it smells like pickles. I don't really taste it. Taking a quick breather over here because it's really windy and cold and the sun's out for like 30 second spurts. We have to just take advantage of basking in the sun like a salamander. <laughs> uh. 
And after any good savory meal, of course I am seeking for something sweet now. This next place we're going to is a bakery. Just like the first restaurant we went to, we're going to this bakery per the recommendation of the Honest Guide. Rather than being in the old town in Prague, we've actually searched another bakery. It's the same name, I think it's the same chain, it's just outside of the city limits. We've stopped here and we're gonna go see if we can find any good items at the bakery. just the bakery inside of there. There's also a butcher shop. This was Willa's choice. It's like a poppy seed moon shaped bread. Here you go Willa. And then some other things that looks good. It looks like a lemon like cranberry cheesecake like bread so. This one kind of looks like a maple donut to me. It definitely has like a hard glaze. It is maple. There's like this cream inside. It's really good. It's kind of like a whipped cream, maybe a little bit thicker of a whipped cream, but that is a maple glaze on the top for sure. It's really good. It's very sweet though. Well, this wraps up our food adventures here in Prague. It's been a chilly but an exciting time to be here during the Easter markets, and this wind is telling us that it's time to seek shelter and find somewhere else warmer, but we've loved being back in Czechia and especially having Marissa's sister being here with us. And for Noah's first international trip, we're really excited to begin these this year, and we're looking forward to warmer weather as I'm sure all of you are as well. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to see our upcoming videos. We've got a lot of exciting memories coming up. See ya!